I'm wondering if we can just start at the very basics because I'm sure there's some people that still haven't even heard of this gene variant. And so will you explain to them what the MTHFR gene variant is? Yeah, and I, I'll preface it with this. You know, I, I started a website called mthfr.net back in 2011. And I beat this drum for a decade. And I traveled the globe presenting at conferences around the world. And uh, I was known as the MTHFR guy. And after a decade, I was like, you know what? I I'm kind of done with this. <laughs> and and it's funny, as soon as I try to be done. <laughs> <laughs> People like us bring you back to it. And you wrote a like, book that talks like, about it. Yeah. And the book was published in 2018. So it's like, come on people. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, so MTHFR is a gene in the human body. There's about 18,000 different genes. And before you freak out about like, oh, this is going to be talking about genetics. I'm, I'm out of here. We'll just keep it as, as this statement. How many professions are, are there in the world? You got lawyers, you got doctors, you got janitors, you have school teachers, you have a variety of different professions. That doesn't freak you out. A gene simply has a job to do. Sometimes a gene has multiple jobs to do. So think about you have 18,000 different employees, basically, in your body, and you are the boss of those employees. Mm -hmm. Yes, these employees are you know, programmed a certain way, but you ultimately are in charge of all of them. So when you say that, oh, um, when you go to the doctor and, and you check you know, the family history, you know, what's your family history of your, your dad, your mom, and your brother, and your immediate grandparents, and you're checking cardiovascular disease, cancer, dementia, and you, every time you check a box, you're like, crap, I'm next, <laughs> yeah. I'm next. And yeah, uh, yeah. and so, but I, my whole goal with educating and informing people about MTFR is that it is one gene out of many, and you can't ignore the whole picture. Stop zooming in so narrow and, and think broadly. But that said, MTFR is a gene. It has a particular job to do. Its particular job is very important, and its job is to make the number one form of folate that's circulating in your blood and your brain and all your organs right now. And that form of folate is called methylfolate. You hear about folic acid all the time. You might also hear about folate. You might think these terms are synonymous. They're not. It's you hear truck or you hear car and you've got a Ford truck, a Tesla truck, a Chevy truck, a GMC truck. These are all different types of trucks, but they're still classified as trucks. So with mm -hmm. folate, methylfolate, consists of, or should consist of, over 80% of that circulating folate in your blood. If you have a minority amount of methylfolate circulating in your blood compared to other types of folates like folic acid, then you are not well. It's that simple. You're not doing well at all. And why is that? Because methylfolate supports a process in your body called methylation, methylation. So methylation is simply a biochemical process in your body that has a ton of different jobs to do by turning genes on, turning them off, getting rid of arsenic, mercury, um, breaking down histamine, um, breaking down dopamine, norepinephrine, supporting the developing baby, um, develop, you know, supporting development of uh, creatine and phosphatidylcholine. And you're like creatine, that's a supplement. Well, yeah, creatine is a supplement, but 80% of your body's methylation pathway, which is supported by the product of the MTHFR gene of methylfolate, 80% of that methylation is used to produce creatine and then this other compound called phosphatidylcholine. And what's phosphatidylcholine is the compound that your cell membranes use heavily um, to make a cell membrane. So we have trillions of cells all over your, all your skin, your eyes, your hair, um, you know, every one of your organs, everything requires billions of different cells. And every one of these billions of cells uses phosphatidylcholine and methylation is a major part of that. 
And a major part of methylation comes from methylfolate, which comes from the MTGFR enzyme. And this is why the MTGFR gene variants are so, so important to understand because methylation is associated with everything. It's the cornerstone. I'm trying to think of an example here, but if Washington DC had a major, I don't like saying this, but say had a major power outage and the entire government shut down for a year, there would be, well, maybe the world would be better, <laughs> <laughs> but let's just say- There um, would be chaos. <laughs> yeah, let's just say it would be chaos, okay? You hit the epicenter, you're gonna have chaos. So if you have an MTGFR gene variation that is pretty significant, and you are not supporting it well through diet, lifestyle, and, and food, and, and nutrition, and so on, then there's going to be chaos throughout your entire body. And it's going to be different for every person. And it's going to be different for every person because there's 18,000 other genes mm -hmm. or so.